hear the word of God by Evangelist Ethan Grant. Mark, and we will share his thought. Amen. A word from the Lord. It's good to be back in England again. Amen. The last time I was here, I actually uh, brought this Bible. Amen. And that was four years ago. It's dated October 27th, 2003. Amen. And so it's good to be back. It's good to see some of the faces that I met the first time. Amen. And uh, we're excited to be here. Uh, I, I, as Pastor or Doc said the la last night, some things have changed since the last time we've gotten married. Amen. The Lord has blessed us. Amen. And we have a little girl, Jasmine Hope Aiden Grant. Amen. She's a year and a half and she's a real bundle of joy. Amen. As well as a handful. Amen. But, but we're very blessed and God has been blessing us tremendously. It's just a privilege. I count it a real privilege every time I get the opportunity to slip away with Dr. Colley. Amen. And, and how many were here last night and heard the word? Was not a tremendous word? And we're excited tonight. All right, let's read, amen. Mark chapter 2 is where we're going to really focus, but I want to read in your hearing from verse 40 of chapter 1 because it sort of sets the tone as to what happened at the beginning of chapter 2. Have you found it? Amen. And there came a leper to him, beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus, moved with compassion, put forth his hand and touched him, said unto him, I will be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he was cleansed. And he straightly charged him, and forthwith sent him away, and said unto him, See thou, say nothing to any man, but go thy way, show thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. But, in verse 45, he went out and began to publish it much, and to blaze abroad the matter insomuch that Jesus could no more openly enter into the city, but was without in desert places, and they came to him from every quarter. Amen. And in verse number one of chapter two, and again he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was noised that he was in the house, and straightway many were gathered together, insomuch that there was no more room to receive them, no, not so much as about the door, and he preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. When they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was, and when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy laid. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven. Father, Kosha, Lord, we come to you now, looking unto you, the author and the finisher of our faith. Father, I pray, lift up the head that is hung down, the heart that is discouraged. I pray, God, encourage today. Father, I pray, strengthen the weak. Father, I pray, fill the empty. I pray, God, save the loss. Father, we decrease now so that you might increase. In Jesus' name. Everybody said amen. 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 For a few moments, our message, the topic of our message tonight is simply this. Jesus is in the house. Jesus is in the house. Come on, share that with somebody. Encourage somebody. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what 
know that he might have been contemplating suicide. You didn't know the fight that it was for him to get here tonight. But now that you have fought, you've put up, you've made it, you, you have wrestled, you have contended, you have strived, and you're here. I want to announce tonight that Jesus is in the house. Amen, amen. As we read in chapter 1, towards the end, we began to see where Jesus heals in a man that had leprosy. And Jesus, the Bible says, was moved with compassion. And I like that about Jesus because he didn't leave it up to your status or your social class. For Jesus, it didn't matter where you were from. In fact, many people benefited from the openness and the generosity and the compassion that Jesus had. If it was left up to some people, uh, you and I might not be here today because they would first stop by Buckingham Palace and make sure that everybody was blessed and everybody was anointed. But I'm so glad that the God that we serve does not look at my education. He does not look at my intellectual capacity. He does not look at my physicality, but I'm so glad. But that's why John said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And in that world included you. In that world was you, you, and you. And you might not be the best looking. You might not have the most money. You might not be the tallest. Or you might not wear the finest clothes, but Jesus loves even you. And I'm so glad because had it not been for Jesus, then I would still be What you can't find in reading a book, if you can just give it. 
compassion. And he says, I will heal you. And he decides to heal this leper. Leper who was not supposed to mingle in society. Leper who was supposed to be isolated. A leper who didn't have many friends. A leper who was often alone, often by himself. I don't know if you, about you, if people have ever stepped over you. I don't know. I wanted to go 